In today's Family Focus, after a year of COVID restrictions, many young athletes were eager to get back on the fields and onto the courts for in 2021. So with the holidays and winter upon us, how do parents keep their momentum going and keep them active? Ryan Vermillion is a local director for Skyhawk Sports Academy here with some ideas for parents. Ryan, good to see you again. We've done stories in the past together and I go to you once again because you're able to get kids out on the field, active, energized, and you have such a great mindset about it as well. Kids having fun while they're in sports. You have a new program, Sports Instead of Screens, which is great for the holidays when kids are off winter break. Tell us about this program. Well, basically, a lot of our programs are designed for beginner to intermediate skill level athletes. So it's designed for those kids that are uh, basically sitting on the couch or those that during the holiday season maybe schools already gotten out for a lot of kids or maybe they get out this week uh, so it's important that they stay active that they that they keep going uh, throughout the course of the holiday season even if it's just for 60 minutes a day uh, 60 minutes a day is usually the most important aspect of, of a child's development uh, not just it's more than just nutrition it's it's getting that exercise in, and that could be something as simple as going outside and playing with their friends sure. or coming to one of our one of our programs. You talk about um, development uh, in more ways than one, physical, also mental. One of the ideas behind your programs is teaching life skills through sports. Tell me about that. Well, more importantly than ever, uh, life skills mean everything, whether it's on the court, on the field, or in the classroom, or out in the real world. Uh, so our programs implement life skills. Uh, we teach sportsmanship, we teach leadership, we teach respect. Uh, the core values that kids are going to have long before, long after they're on the basketball court, long after they're on the soccer field, and well into high school and, and eventually going into college or whatever they want to do with their life. Uh, those life skills will stay with them for years to come. What I like about that is because what we saw over the summer uh, coming from the pandemic lockdown on into summer was that you were teaching these kids how to overcome obstacles, how to boost their confidence in themselves and in others, which we are still in the midst of needing to do that at this point in time. Absolutely. Uh, the important thing about our programs is that we institute the fun into sports and, and me growing, growing up into a sports background, I, I learned to love sports my entire life. So a lot of what we teach is, and a lot of what our staff ingrains, and this is what we, when we hire our staff, is growing to love the sport. Mm. We don't want them to be the next Michael Jordan. We don't, we don't need them to be the next uh, LeBron James. Right. Uh, you know, even if they don't want to be that, that's okay. Uh, the important thing is, is that they're growing to love the sport and they're, and they're growing into an aspect where there's something more important to them than just sitting on a couch. There's more drive in their life. There's more ambition. There's more wanting to go out and do something and, and gaining that confidence that, hey, this can be fun. Yeah. Even though I'm not, I may not, I may not be good at it. I may not have ever done this before, but I'm going to try it. And when I try it, hey, this is going to be fun. Very nice. And now changing. that this is fun, mm -hmm. yeah. Now that this is fun, now that I want to keep, now I want to keep doing this. Changing that mindset, right? Getting that different perspective, thinking outside the box, which, we, which we've had to do over the past year. Certainly, there's still a lot of concern for families on staying safe as we are still in the middle of the pandemic. So let's talk about fall and winter 2021's staying safe guide while playing sports. So our our stay in safe protocols uh, we have them on our website we also institute them at a lot of our programs our staff are fully trained on this uh, we offer hand sanitizer programs uh, even though mo about 90 percent of our programs are outdoors currently and especially heading into winter spring about 90 percent of them are outdoors we don't require masks but we also don't tell people that hey you know you don't have to wear a mask sure. but if you want to you're more than welcome to our staff uh, abiding by each county, because we operate in you know several different counties in the Sacramento area, uh, we abide to local city and, and county guidelines. So if they require our staff to wear masks, they're going to wear them. Okay. Uh, most most programs indoors will require masks, and our staff and mm -hmm. our participants will will be wearing those masks. What I also love about your program is it incorporates the parent. We are during the holidays here. Families are going to be together, and you always make sure to incorporate the parents and other family members. Absolutely. So our, our Super Tots programs in particular, uh, usually they're ages three to five. We actually incur, 
encourage parent participation in that. And a lot of times uh, we tell the parents at the very beginning that, hey, it's okay to participate. Sometimes they're shy. Sometimes they don't want to, you know, stray away from mom or dad. That's okay. Come on out and help and, and help us. Uh, you know, you're more than welcome to come out and Fantastic. help them with the program. And we've seen, and we've seen in the past, when that happens, kids, you normally, after about a week or two, they're like, eh, mom or dad, I don't need you. You know, now I can go out and do my <laughs> own thing. <laughs> there we go. Gaining that independence along the way and keeping our kids active during the holidays when they're going to be off of school. Ryan Vermillion, uh, the director of Skyhawks Sports Academy. Thank you so much for your time this morning and happy holidays to you. Thanks Take for having care. me and happy holidays to you Thank as well. Thank you so much.